and today we come to Chiloquin, Oregon, and this is Spring Creek. I haven't kayaked in ages. <laughs> this is awesome. The water is so clear. I'm gonna be doing some underwater video here pretty soon, but this is awesome. Before I say much more, I want to address the elephant in the room. So the kayak and the, the vest, I borrowed everything. And I don't know if you noticed, but it's a little bit snug. I think I've been eating way too many huckleberries. There we go. I think I think I'm recording now. I'm having a hard time controlling this because I'm going up up upstream. So the water keeps bringing me back, and every time I try to control the camera, I I kind of get lost. <laughs> but I got it. So I don't know if I said this already or not, but I intended to bring the the gimbal with the Canon R5. And when I got close to the water and looked at the kayak and stuff, I, I decided that that could be a very expensive mistake. So instead, I'm, I'm making this video with the GoPro Hero 9. I think it's a great camera. I've had great results with it. And I'm also using the Insta360 GO 2 for a different perspective. But this is amazing. I mean, it's so peaceful and so tranquil. It's just really, really cool to be able to come out and just sit outdoors and enjoy the beautiful landscape. Jersey I was always way too busy and I never had time to come out and, and do things like this but here in the in the Northwest this is part of the culture uh, let me grab this I'm grabbing that with my feet outdoor adventure stuff is part of the culture here in the Northwest and I don't have room to have all these toys and stuff there's a lot of rentals but I have friends that have all the toys which is great I think I heard the water is like 40 degrees, so I'm not going swimming today. I made it to the top of the spring and it looks really cool to see this water just bubbling up from the ground and then for what I understand is lava tubes that feed these springs and that's why you see all these vents everywhere underneath that's so I don't want to walk there because I might sink I don't know how deep they are but it's really cool to see the water just bubbling up all across the creek and now that I know what I'm looking for I see it in other places too it's really really cool it's not a very hard um, Trip. even though we're going up river it doesn't take that long uh, and it's very peaceful it's beautiful there's a lot of trees that have fallen and they just stay here so there's a few obstacles you got to get across but it is awesome <laughs>
There's a state park and that's where we parked and put the kayaks in and that is uh, day use so it's, it's free. Uh, the kayaks are over 10 feet long and in Oregon uh, that requires a permit. So that is a, a annual fee to be able to, to use it but the waterways are free and it is awesome. I mean for, for the cost of your kayak or your rental this is a, a great way to spend the morning or an afternoon. I'm very pleased. This is beautiful. <laughs> Here in the water, you also find these things. Uh, mare's eggs, I think they're called. I have to research it, but it's some type of algae that only grows here. And it's slimy and squishy and ah, some people eat it, I heard. Apparently in Chinese uh, cooking, it's some kind of delicacy, but look at the slime. This is crazy. <laughs> How would you eat that? <laughs> but apparently this is one of the only places uh, here in the country where it grows. So it's pretty cool, I think. So these mare's eggs are a type of blue-green algae and they're not as, as rare as I thought. The difference here in this lake is that they get to this size. They've been up to 5 pounds and 9 inches in diameter. Usually in the, when the summer heats up they die off. But here in this creek, in Spring Creek, the water is so cold uh, and so deep that they get to this size. And then on the inside is where you find the blue-green algae. That's why they're called an egg. When you pop it, the inside just gushes out with water and then you find the, the algae. This area here was also affected by the fires last year. You can even see the remains of the motel still standing. A lot of it has died, but there's still quite a bit of the forest that's still green and healthy. Hopefully in a few years, this will all be restored to what it once was. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm gonna do a little bit more video and some underwater stuff and, and should leave you with some footage from this beautiful place. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.